been a lot of fun for me. Uh, Alan is a reserve officer. He volunteers his time away from his full-time job, his two kids, his pregnant wife, as a reserve officer. Also, he leads the Explorer Post, which takes a, a ton of time. I, I would have a hard time even being a part of this if Alan didn't do all the work for me. So uh, I'd like to thank him, and I'd also like to thank the kids, thank the chief for letting us do this. It's a lot of fun. And let me tell you about both of these gentlemen. Now, I'm going to talk about Alan first. Alan was, our, I believe, our first recipient for the um, Citizen of the Quarter. Um, I don't know where this guy gets energy from. I swear it's nuclear because <laughs> he, he just he keeps going forever. Bunky joined us uh, recently, you know, not not in a too distant, uh, not too recently, but in, recently with the program. And I can't thank him enough because when we're dealing with kids, obviously uh, there's a concern by parents, number one, as well as the community, and especially ahead of an agency that everything is done right. And We've just seen too many tragedies occur within scouting and stuff like that, so it's imperative that we make sure that nothing uh, detrimental happens. I started the, the Police Explorer post in Miami-Dade about 30-some-odd years ago, and it was a pleasure to uh, certainly um, give my kudos on, on this group. And if we get one kid out of it that ends up being a police officer, we're successful. I'll just give you a little story. When I started the Miami-Dade Police Department Explorers, uh, I had one guy who was uh, our very first explorer that we signed up, Steve Rasmussen. And when I retired, he and I both worked as captains together in, in Liberty City and stuff. So um, it's, a, it's a great career opportunity. It gives them beautiful insight. Both of these gentlemen take these kids, as well as some of the parents take the kids, on competitions throughout, I guess you can go even nationally. Um, where they do crime scene and, and you actually team up and they actually have crime scene and then the best group that works with that does that. They have it for vehicle stops. You want to elaborate a little more? Yeah, the burglary in progress, vehicle stops, DUI checkpoints, crime scene analysis. Um, just anything a law enforcement officer do, these do on kind of a junior level. They don't carry the handguns, but they do everything an officer do as well. We also do pistol and rifle shooting on the range. Can. Um, we do closed room building searches with uh, simulated rounds and uh, a lot of handcuffing techniques, a lot of little hand to hand combat, um, and how to protect yourself in, in the, in the uh, civilian world. So but these kids are learning a lot. Uh, we've grown tremendously. Last year we started with six. I think this year recruiting they've got about almost 15. Um, our sergeant, have Victoria, stand up. Victoria Hughes is our explorer post sergeant. She kind of leads. Our, our group of Cop Honorary. Um, <laughs> our one year term is coming up this November. So, next election, next meeting, we'll have our new elections for the next coming year. And hopefully, we'll have maybe have a new sergeant, maybe we'll have two sergeants. We're actually getting big enough to have two different groups and two different squads to kind of, kind of grow from. We're trying to uh, teach a lot of these kids leadership skills, and Tori's done real good with that. And we'll, we'll see some new guys step up in the leadership role going forward. Now let me tell you something about this young lady. She, every event that we have, she's always there. So I, I personally want to say thank you. Uh, these kids will be able to ride with the police officers. Um, and we've even had situations not only in, our, in my past department, but in other police departments throughout the country where we've actually had police explorers who were riding in the police car actually save police officers' lives. So it's a, it's a, it's a great, program through scouting, um, and as soon as they brought it to me, uh, we did a standard operating procedure, I believe, yeah. that um, Alan was responsible for that on top of everything else he does, <laughs> and uh, can't say enough, and, and again, when we had this huge football game um, with Daphne, uh, these were the people who were assisting the police officers, and we, with all the traffic that came in, uh, they were the sole uh, source of really most responsible group out there that assisted us. So again, my my thanks.